Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. The Bunkies have been back in the kitchen this week and we are bringing you a new What's For Dinner and we're so excited about it. I know you guys have been waiting for a new one so it is finally here and we're bringing you three really good meals but the last one is like a chicken recipe and it was amazing like that was by far our favorite so you guys will have to recreate it and let me know what you think also if you're new we'd love for you to stick around and hit that subscribe button we make new videos every single week and have lots of fun so be sure to stick around and also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more what's for dinners but let's go ahead and get close so tonight for dinner we are making chili and i actually just recently got this dutch oven i normally cook my chili in a crock pot so i'm a little bit nervous but hopefully it's going to turn out okay if you guys use your dutch oven leave me a comment below and let me know do you love it I'm kind of nervous but super excited to use it so I've got it heating up right here and tonight we're making chili so I have all of my ingredients laid out now you guys know I am NOT one to really measure I like to eyeball everything but I am going to try and measure these things out just to give you guys a better estimate of how much I'm really using and for our chili of course I have my hamburger meat here and a packet of chili seasoning I also use some hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce um, some mustard and ketchup, a clove of garlic, and then I'll add in some tomatoes, kidney beans, chili beans, and at the very end, I'll throw in the corn. I don't let it cook the whole time, but at the very end, and I like my chili with lots of beans. That's my favorite. So that's what we got going on. I'm going to go ahead and brown my hamburger meat in my Dutch oven and get that going, and then I'll start adding in all the spices. Okay, so somehow I was not recording and I did go ahead and add in my one huge clove of garlic. You can add in as much or as little as you'd like. And then I'm gonna go in right now with some cumin. I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of that as well as one teaspoon of oregano. Okay, so now that I have this layer cooked all the way through, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my tomatoes. Now this is just a can of fire roasted garlic diced tomatoes. I'm keeping all the liquid and everything. I want all that juice. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Monkey's not home from work yet. Um, okay, come on buddy, please work with me. Hang on, let's retry this again. I'm just gonna add in the sauce and everything because I want all of that flavor. And then I am gonna add in a can of kidney beans. Now I did wash and rinse these, so I'm gonna add those in next. I say wash and rinse. I did drain and rinse them or wash them, whatever you guys know what I'm trying to say. And then for the chili beans, I'm adding everything, sauce and all, because that is a lot of good flavor. Okay, now I'm just gonna give this a big stir. Oh my gosh, look at that tomato. <laughs> Okay, next up, I'm going in with my packet of chili seasoning. I'm just gonna add this entire thing into the pot. Now this part, I'm not measuring. You just add however much hot sauce you want to taste. I like a lot. So I'm gonna put some in there. And then same with Worcestershire. Okay, next up I'm gonna go in with my ketchup and mustard. I am just gonna use about a third of a cup of each. Okay, so a little less than a third of a cup. Okay, so I just filled about half to three-fourths of this can up with water. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in, pop a lid on, and let it simmer. <laughs> Come taste my chili. Come taste my chili. Okay. With this spoon here? Yeah, I already tasted it. I thought it was amazing. It's been cooking for like two and a half hours or two hours. Ooh. Stir it up. I'm going to. This lid is kind of hot. It's hot. I had to grab it with a, um, a towel. Mm. 
Are you so excited for this? I am. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat this for like 10 minutes. Cause it's so hot? Yeah. Look at that big tomato in there. Came um, out of the little can. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just let this cool down for a, okay. a bit. You can blow on it for a second. What do you think? It's good. Is it? <laughs> yeah. What's it need? I can't, I don't know. I don't think anything. It's really good? It's just really hot. Yeah. You like it? I do. I'm going to eat it. Okay. Bunky stopped on the way home and got us some cornbread, so I'm gonna make that as well. Bunky is setting up to make his cornbread. We're gonna make some muffins, and he's getting crazy with it. I don't know what he's doing over here. I told him to make me some that are just normal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my corn to the chili. It's been cooking for quite a while now, and it looks amazing. It smells so good in our house. So Bunky's gonna go ahead and dump in the corn. Drain it. Oh yeah, please drain it. So Bunky's gonna go ahead and make our cornbread. We're just doing the Jiffy cornbread mix. This is our favorite, sweet, delicious, amazing. Um, we're just following directions on that. And then I think B is gonna try and make some with jalapenos and cheese. That does sound delicious. Yep. You know how we had them like at that one place? Yeah. Just trying to trying to do that okay. again. Just we're gonna make a few normal just in case they don't turn out well, but yeah. I gotta chop up my Jalapenos. Well, no, you're not putting those into it until that you make all the regular. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah, because it does actually say to let the batter rest for about three to four minutes. Okay. So that'll be good. Okay. Go ahead and do it. Make sure I'm doing this right. One egg, one third cup of milk. Start it together and you just start it together. Get the oven to 400 and then Bunky greased our pan really well. <laughs> yeah, don't want them sticking. And then, how much goes in each one? Uh, it says like two thirds okay. up, up the thing, so yeah. To mine, I'm gonna slice this up a little bit, make some little. This would probably be better too with a fresh jalapeno, but we don't have that, so we're going with the pickle. Corn bread is done. I'm about to put some butter on mine. Monkeys are still in there. He's about to get them out. Monkeys struggling to get them out. That's why I can't. Because <laughs> they're too hot. They don't want to come out. Mine don't. Well, you grease them a lot, so. Um, that I thought that would help. Let me see. Okay, go ahead. Oh, oh. Okay, cornbread is out. Bunky's having a hard time getting his out of the um pan. Yeah. You're not gonna eat that so hot. Oh, that hot. Okay. Oh, that's good. We got jalapeno. It? Okay, so cornbread is done. Chili is done. We're gonna go ahead and put it in our bowl. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. My mouth is watering. All right, chili is plated up. Cornbread is done. This is what's for dinner tonight. Loki and I are about to dig in. What day it is? Tacho Tuesday. In case you didn't know, I didn't know what it was either. <laughs> Taco Nacho Tuesday. We bought to have some taco nachos. Tachos. Tonight we are making tacos. It is actually Taco Tuesday. Um, but we are going to make them nacho style because I think actually we were out of tortillas and we we're like, let's have nachos instead. So I have our chips. I'm gonna ground up our beef. This is the taco seasoning that we have been using. We really like it. I got it at Sam's Club. And then Funky has what? Some Rotel. Which one is this? Mexican style. Oh, yum. And then some jalapenos. 
We're gonna see what else we have. That's what I love about nachos, it's you can just kind of add whatever you want. There's some black beans on there if you want to. <gasps> Let's do that, that sounds good. I just wish we had some lettuce. Well, we have some kale. I don't know any other person who drains the grease like this. Like I just throw it in a little colander, put a little cup underneath it. No, gotta get it all out. Yeah, that's how you get it all out, not with a spoon. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. The burger beet is drained, is that what you call it? Drained. Drained. We put a little bit of water in there and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in some taco seasoning. Is that enough? Now I need a little bit more. Is that good? We'll start with that. We'll taste it. Okay. So now that the hamburger meat is cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and start layering the nachos. I do put a layer of cheese down before the beef, and then I put another layer on top. We like our nachos really cheesy. And then on Bunky's side, we're going to go ahead and add the jalapenos and the rotel. I totally forgot the black beans on my side, but that's okay. They were still delicious. I can't get it. I might have just stick my hand in there. Go for it. You know, I'll, yeah, let me just, let me just use my fingers. Okay. What if I just like sprinkle? I'm just going to use my hand. <laughs> I love your side and my side. It's hilarious. That's probably good. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have our chips, our meat, our cheese. Bucky has his jalapenos, Rotel. We're going to pop these bad boys in the oven at 400 degrees just until this cheese melts. And then this is just like my favorite little sauce that I always eat on tacos. I've made it a few times, but in case you guys haven't seen it, I will try and find the video that has the recipe and link it below. Tacho time. <laughs> Ooh wee. That's gooey. Oh my goodness. I mean, I just want to like pick one up. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm about to eat that. Mm. I'm about to eat it too. Okay, so we got some sour cream. We got my little red sauce. We got a margarita. I don't know what monkey said. Some kind of taco Tuesday to nachos. Tachos. Tacho Tuesday. We're going to get this on a plate and eat it. And that's what's for dinner. What's for dinner? All right, y'all, so tonight for dinner, I found a new recipe on Pinterest that I thought sounded so good, and the recipe says it's like some of the best chicken you will ever have. There's only four ingredients, and it only takes 30 minutes to cook, so I thought that sounded perfect. It's like a creamy Caesar chicken, so basically it just calls for sour cream, Parmesan cheese, um, Caesar dressing, and then your chicken breast, and you just mix all those ingredients together, cover the chicken breast, bake it in the oven for 30 minutes, perfect so um we're gonna have that as well as some broccoli and then my favorite kind of like roasted sweet potato so that's what we have going on i'm gonna flip you guys around okay so we've got everything kind of laid out here i just went ahead and put the chicken in our little baking dish we're gonna have some broccoli and roasted sweet potatoes like i said so um for the chicken the recipe calls for caesar dressing sour cream and parmesan cheese we have both kinds so like um it's called grated. Yeah, mm -hmm. grated. And then this kind of just like a little bit more fancy. So um, y'all know I can never stick to a recipe. So the only thing that I'm going to change or do differently, I'm going to do the exact same thing. But I think I'm going to melt a little bit of butter and um, in some breadcrumbs and then put in some Parmesan cheese and kind of sprinkle that on top just to give it like a crunchy factor to layer. the top layer. Bunky said that. Element. It was actually Bunky's idea. He thought breadcrumbs would be really good on there. So. 
That's what you told me. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was thinking because we have this olive garden Italian dressing, I may put the teeniest little bit into this little mixture to give it some more flavor because I thought that sounded really good. So I'm going to um, find the recipe that I found on Pinterest and link it below if you guys just want to follow that one or you might like ours better and want to follow it. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and start combining these ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to read you what the actual recipe calls for. So for four chicken breasts, you're going to use one cup of the Caesar salad dressing, half a cup of sour cream, and one and one half cup of Parmesan cheese, and then just mix that all together. Funky and I realized that we actually had this big bag of cheese we got at Sam's Club. So we're going to use this on top too, just to kind of give it lots of gooeyness on top. But I can already tell you this is going to be amazing because this mixture smells so good. Like, I'm actually really, really excited for tonight's dinner. And clearly so is B. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, let's, um, will you go ahead and melt a little bit of butter so I can make the breadcrumbs? I sure will. Um, you want to do what's left? You don't have to do that much. Just like half of that. Cubes so it microwaves easier. What? Just like you. It's true. Okay. Wait, wait. What? I gotta cover it up or something. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, does it have to be wet? Paper no. towel? Mm -mm. Come tell, I mean, show them. But well, he said, has this not been covered? All that would have been in our microwave. Oh, that's hot. That's hot me. You see? Okay. Explosion. Well, I, I can't touch that because it's hot. That is kind of warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to my melted butter, I'm going to go ahead and add in some breadcrumbs. And stir those as I go. This thing is so hot. Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. This is a good stuff. Okay, so I'm just leaving my breadcrumb mixture there because I'm not gonna put it on till like towards the end of the baking time. But we're gonna go ahead and cover this chicken with our mixture. This smells so good. Have you smelled it? Um, I did. It's amazing. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got all the chicken covered, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of this Parmesan cheese on top. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on, and then I'm also gonna sprinkle on some of the um, Sam's Club. I think we need to chill with the parm, boo. I think it's gonna be it's good. It's a very strong cheese. <laughs> just saying. I want all the cheese. All we, the nuttiness. That's the good cheese right there. That's what I want. Okay, so we've got the oven set to 375. The chicken's just gonna cook for about 30 minutes. And then while that's in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and start on our sweet potato and our broccoli. Are you gonna peel that for me? Oh yeah, girl. I'm gonna give a little rinse. Okay. You don't have to rinse the sweet potato because you're peeling off the whole skin. I, I know, it makes it peel easier, in my opinion. Okay, go ahead. You do you, boo. This is my fancy peeling station, y'all. There's Cam. Normally, I, normally I do our sweet potatoes, but Bunky swears he's got it, so we'll see. I insist upon cutting the sweet potato. You think I don't do it right? No, I just want to do it. You want bite? Yeah. Oh my. That's 
That's what you want to dip your chicken tenders in. I'm not doing this right. I know. I'm not doing this right. I got I figured it out. I figured out what I did wrong. It's okay. But Bunky, that has to be very small and bite-sized pieces. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna I, I realized what I did wrong, I think. Nope, I still did it wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Mister, he swears that he can do it. I, this is, you know, sometimes I have trouble with vegetables. <laughs> Cause we never eat any? No, like, like <laughs> making it the right shape and stuff. Like these have this round edge. And I don't, see, I, see now I'm gonna get cubes, which is what we're going for. But I was having a hard time figuring out how to get a cube. I feel like you're making french fries. Well, no, I'm gonna cut that up into uh, more pieces. What are we gonna do here? Uh, I'm just gonna let you do you, boo. Thank you. These are gonna be the best ones you ever had. Meanwhile, I'm over here with some King Hawaiian rolls and dipping it in this leftover sauce because this stuff is heavenly. It really was. It's amazing. See, look. Like, I, I want to make this and dunk my chicken tenders in it. Yes. What? See, look, look at them now. Yeah, you're doing great. See? I just needed to get started. It's fine. So, I have a bunch of this, like, sage, rosemary, and thyme. So, I thought maybe I would um, throw this on top of our sweet potatoes and let it bake a little bit with that. That sounded really yummy. And that's the kind of flavors I like on my sweet potatoes anyway, so hopefully it'll turn out. Are you doing your stocking again? You see that? Yeah, are you gonna do timber? No, <laughs> this one's more like a bush. <laughs> okay, do you know how to make my broccoli the way I like it? Of course I do. How? Um, with olive oil. Oh my gosh, Bunky, sorry, I just had the best idea. What? What if we dunk our broccoli after it's cooked in this? Dude, it's gonna be amazing. Yes, dude. I can seriously eat this with a spoon. Like, y'all have no idea, this chicken's gonna be so good. Okay, so it's olive oil. And a little salt. And lots of pepper. And? Garlic salt, powder. Yeah. You may go ahead and um, do our little. Potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes need to get in the oven. Okay. Tumble, not timber. <laughs> Cute little honey. Huh? What? What? Okay, so the chicken only has about 10 minutes left, so I'm gonna take it out and top it with the rest of that cheese, maybe not. I don't have any other mitts on. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to grab it with your hand, Superman. Yeah. No, thank you. We're going to go ahead and take the chicken out? Just to put the breadcrumbs on. I need two. I'm trying to get this broccoli in the oven, girl. Okay. Okay, girl. Just sit right there. Oh, yeah. How's it look? Oh, it's starting to brown. Yeah. Is that what we want? Yes. Let me see if I can turn down this exposure so y'all can really see it. OMG, Bunky, it looks good. Okay, chicken is out of the oven and it looks and smells amazing. I cannot wait to eat it. We're still waiting on the sweet potatoes, so we're gonna hold out for a few more minutes, but we're both over here like staring at this chicken. All right, so here is our finished plate, y'all. 
it's amazing. I've already eaten like half a piece of chicken, but I was waiting on the sweet potatoes. They were taking forever. Bunky already literally finished his entire plate. And I asked him if he thought this chicken was better or the longhorn Parmesan crusted chicken copycat. And he said this one. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And so simple. Like you guys will definitely have to try it. Delish. The flavor is incredible. And that little like mixture that we put on top, basically I'm just gonna make that and start using it instead of ranch. Yep. That's it's good. so good. So that's what's for dinner tonight. All right, my love, so that is gonna do it for this week's What's For Dinner. I hope you enjoyed it and got lots of great meal inspiration. Leave me a comment and let me know which recipe was your favorite and which one you're gonna try at home. I'm telling you, that chicken was so good. You guys are definitely gonna have to try that one. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.